Now I want these images on my project proposal page to be centered, just like everything else is centered. And I want to add a little caption information about what the image is about. So it's going to be just like we did on home in the aside, the, the little thumbnail sketch that had attribution information. So same thing here. The way we had done that was in a figure. So first we have to go to project.html and right now the images are wrapped up in p tags. So we actually want it to be in a figure. So figure and new line and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that image and then I'm going to paste it. Get rid of that extra p tag and then do the same thing for the color swatch. Figure, new line, cut the image and paste it. Get rid of that extra p tag. So if I go now to look at it in the browser and I refresh, you can see that now it has indented in a little bit. But before we go centering it, let's add the captions. Going back to my editor, I am going to add a fig caption. Big caption. And I want it to say Project Homepage Sketch, something short. Project Homepage Sketch. Likewise for the color swatch, I'm going to wrap it in a fig caption. Oops. Uh, okay, let's do this again. Fig caption, and then let Emmett do this for me. Okay, there we go. And then I want to say color swatch from coolers.co. So attributing where I got that. So I'm going to save the change, go over to my web page page in the browser and I'm going to refresh. Things still aren't centered but now I have a little information. But it's a little little big. It's the same size as everything else. I think I want I think I want these to be a little smaller as well as centered. So let's go over to my editor. And this time we're going to go into webd.css and I'm going to create a new rule for figure. First I'm going to center it. I'm going to make, make its font style a little bit different. Going to make it oblique. And don't forget that semicolon at the end of each rule. And I want to have its size to be smaller relative to what it is. 
the rest of the, the text there. So I'm just not setting a fixed size there. So let's save that. And now when I look at my web page, you can see they're centered. The font is a little smaller. And because I was affecting all figure elements, it's also a little bit smaller over here and centered as well within its container. And that's fine. We probably will want to add a little extra padding here. And maybe a colored border because this white that this this doesn't really stand out that much against the background. However, if you look at the index page, it already has a drop shadow, so we might not want it over there just on this page. So one thing that you can do is you could set a class to only affect the ones on this page. And so if we go to our code, we can set, we want to have a border, but before we do that, let's go into the HTML and here we want to say for this figure, let's put in a rule and just say class equals oops in quotes project fig and then we're going to do the same thing with that class for the other figure And now in the CSS, we're going to add a rule for that's targeting figures who are in project fig. And actually we want to affect the images there. Oops, rule. And we want Let's set the border to be five pixels and solid and then the color that you would like it to be for that and I save my change Oops, maybe add another space go back into my browser and then here I have a little just a little bit of a of a border to set off my images from the rest of the from the background so that's that's a trick you can play okay and just to make sure it did not add an image here I'm sorry a border here on index.html so it only affected this page let's check let's check our CSS so check and it's all good and let's check our HTML and we had affected project. So let's check it. And that's good too. 
So we're good to go for this video.